Gormahal Gormahal Gormahal. Look, Minister, our nurses, we value them. They're the angels of mercy, as far as I'm concerned. They work so hard. The conditions have been so unbearable that they're fleeing uh, the system, fleeing the country, which as many of them are sick and ill. But you don't respect them, and you don't respect this House. You don't respect the electors. And if you did, you would be gone long ago, Minister, because the appalling vista of the children's hospital in the wrong place, no co location with maternity, and a big black hole, no helipad, and the big sooner that you get into that hole and see, go down to the bottom. And see what's in it. I'm told the base is actually floating, the concrete base now. There are drains and other kinds of issues underneath it, open sewers that have to be relocated. It's just a mess, and you're digging the hole bigger into the abyss. I'm asking you, Minister, if you won't stop and then you go out and be arrogantly attacking the nurses, telling them that you might dock their pay if they go on strike. But no dock, no pay for anyone outside in, in, in the children's hospital. Consultants getting 80 million to design a mess. Go out to BAM to tender with, thing, with no bit of quantities. The whole thing is an, an, an unmitigated miss and you're incapable of running the HSC. You wouldn't run a, sheet, a sweet shop, the one we had here in front of the door when it was there before you come in here. You wouldn't run that and as far as your minister beside you, if the tree had any manners of respect, you'd go into that hole, get a guided tour and with a bit of look, someone would make sure you stay in the hole and we'd have an election and get ready and let the people, the nurses, all the other healthcare professionals, let them have some bit of modicum of respect. You can't work with any company. I'm an employer myself. You have to respect your staff. You don't respect them. You don't respect this house, the members here. You don't respect the electorate, and you have no respect for anyone on yourself. Look at in the mirror. How do you sleep in bed at night the way you treat people in this country, and the shameless way that you allow this uh, gigantic overrun? You can smile away if you like. You'll, be, you'll go down in history as the worst, most incompetent, useless Minister of Health that ever sat in, that, in this chamber. It's despicable, and if you had any matter of respect, you'd be gone long ago, and the helmet of cabal of a cabinet with you as well, because you've Dublin trio, yourself and the Taoiseach, and Minister Murphy, and Mr Donohoe. You care nothing about Ireland. Good.